You screwed up, Sega! Hey, uh, Rose of the Rascal 15 here. Okay, this is an update on Sonic Boom, as, as it's called, you know, the TV show and the video game that's coming out. Alright, this is an unscripted rant about Styx the Badger, which is a new Sonic the Hedgehog character that's going to be introduced into the Sonic Boom um, universe, I guess. I don't know if she's going to be an official character in the Sonic universe. I don't know if it's just this Sonic Boom universe, or is it for the whole Sonic series? I don't know. Either way, I want to talk about the character. And boy, do I have a lot to say about the character. Styx the Badger. Okay, to be fair... We're gonna talk. We're gonna we're gonna talk about what I like and what I don't like about the characters. So, you probably want to hear the positives already. So let's talk about the positives. All right. Well, first of all, I love her design. Um, even though I know she looks a lot like Marine the Raccoon. Yeah. Why Sega? Why? Why not just make make it about Marine the Raccoon? Why do you make a new character that... Okay, I know I'm already ranting. Okay, sorry. Pause it. Okay, I like the design. I like the personality. And I like how Sega is going for like another... I don't know, like a safari um, jungle type of character. Again, I mean, we haven't seen that kind of character since... Uh, well, Marine the Raccoon or To Call the Echidna from Sonic Adventure. And uh, that's where my positives in. <laughs> okay, so let's go on with the negatives because I think I have more negatives than positives. Sorry, guys. I, I mean, I like the character design. That's good. But now let's go on to the problems. That's also a problem, too. Okay, the problems. I absolutely hate, 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 I mean, really hate the voice. You can doubt me. But I'll protect you anyway, because I'm a good friend, and because it distracts me from the government agents that are replacing my plants with violins. This is by far the worst, if not the worst, voice for a Sonic character. I I'm not I'm not kidding. That that's quite an accomplishment, Sega. I mean, here's a voice clip. Don't you people know anything about science? Oh, okay. Sega. You have not made a character's voice this annoying in a long time. I'm talking like this is even more annoying. Oh, uh, I mean, d don't worry. Hey, you only look really scary, Sonic. Inside, you're the same as ever. I guarantee it, okay? Sonic, <sighs> cheer up. Uh, chocolate. Want some chocolate? I thought that was annoying. I thought that was... That, that just pissed me off. But this... Don't you people know anything about science? Science! Science! Science. This voice offends me. I'm like, th there's no way I'm gonna like that. I'm sorry. Uh, the voice is ruined. And you're like saying, well, can the voice ruin a character? And the answer is yes. Yes, it can. The main reason why I never liked Tails in the old Sonic games because of his voice, especially the one from Sonic Heroes. I don't know his name, whatever that kid actor was. Want some more? Wow, my head's spinning. He was horrible. Absolutely horrible and almost ruined the character for me in that game. Absolutely yes. You're like, well, can a voice ruin a character? And yes, it can. So, even if she is a likable character, you know, like maybe she'll save Sonic out of some bad situations. Or maybe she'll prove herself as a worthy character in the franchise. The voice does not win me over. Anyways, that's what I think about the voice. Awful. Awful. Change it, Sega. Either fix the voice and when the game comes out. Or just don't make her talk that much. Either way, I don't want to hear her voice. Like, ever. At least not that voice. Jeez. Okay, and another negative. The design. I know I said it was a positive. You're like, well, it was a positive. You said you liked the design. I do. If I hadn't seen Marine the Raccoon. Because this is exactly like Marine the Raccoon. Look. Bam. That's Marine the Raccoon. No question about it. But yeah, they, yeah, there's some differences. I mean, the pigtails and the and the and the the, the boomerang. Like uh, she's freaking uh, Link from the Legend of Zelda or something. Like what? And it's a shame because the voice actress they got for her is a good voice actress. I'm not scared. 
I think you're cool. Kind of like a comic book superhero. Here you go. I've got a man down! We're in the morgue! Hey, Deck! We were attacked by something. Not sure what. Shit! Shit! Look out! I just don't remember her name at the time, so I apologize. I'm pretty sure I'll put her name in the description. Sonic Boom is walking on a tightrope right now. Like, I'm already worried. I mean, I'm excited. Don't get me wrong. I'm still excited for Sonic Boom, but... I mean, when they announced that... Shadow's... I think they also... I don't know if it's official, but they also said that Shadow's gonna be in there. And right now, I don't know if Sega's doing the right decisions. I mean, they're, they're really... I mean, it's different. But I don't know if it's smart. There's a difference. See, there's a difference between being original and smart... And being different and stupid. And I'm sorry to say this, but this is kind of falling towards the different and stupid. I'm sorry. I mean, I like the character design despite the fact it's a copy of Marine the Raccoon. And that's another, no, no, that's another thing. Marine the Raccoon. This could have been her chance to come back in the series. I mean, she hasn't been in a game in, what, Sonic Rush Adventure? And I played Sonic Rush Adventure recently just to remember what the character was like. And Marine the Raccoon was this adventurous character who wanted to prove herself that, yeah, you know what, I'm a worthy character of the series. You know, I can uh, I can be just as cool as you, Sonic, or Blaze, or Tails. Like, but she would always do, um, she was always afraid. She would make mistakes. And she always hate being left out of everything. Marine the Raccoon was a character like, you tell her, like, no, wait here, and she'll be like, no, I'm not waiting here. I want to come and seek adventure with you guys. I want to prove myself of a worthy person to be on this on this trip, you know? That would, if they had done that, if they put Marine the Raccoon, this could have been her, her once chance, like, her once in a lifetime chance to prove herself that she was right. Nope, we get an original character that we don't need for one thing. I mean, there's already enough Sonic characters, Sega. I mean, <laughs> Like, Sega, we don't need any more characters in the franchise. It, it's fine. The characters we already have are fine. I mean, did, did, did anybody out there, did anybody out there really want another Sonic character? I didn't. I know I'm, I know it's a rant. I, I'm still excited for Sonic Boom. But this character, this character could ruin the franchise. And I know what you're saying. Jerry, that's kind of a big thing to say. That's kind of harsh. Just calm down. Well, yeah, I, I know. I know. I'm not jumping to conclusions yet. But if this character comes out really bad, it could almost ruin Sonic Boom for everyone. I mean, this, it could be ruined by one character, like um, Star Wars The Phantom Man is like how Jar Jar ruined that whole movie. This could be the same thing. Maybe this one character could ruin it. But again, I'm giving her a chance. Despite the complaints I have, I'm still giving her a chance. We'll just have to wait and see how the character does. You know, and she's also got uh, some funny dialogue. I mean, look out for Sonic Boom coming soon. That rhymed. <laughs> I'm a poet. I mean, it's funny. I like that. I mean, she's got some really clever dialogue. But what ruins it, and what ruins it, is the voice. We don't need another Sonic character. You could have given this personality to another Sonic character. This could have been Marine the Raccoon. Again, I, ca I can't stress that enough. This could have been Marine the Raccoon's comeback. You built this character that had an adventurous type of personality, and this character personality would have fit for Marine. Instead, you make a new character that everyone's going to hate, including me. Good job there. Sonic Boom. Leave in the comments what you think about the character. Me, personally... I don't hate the character 100%, but I do have quite, quite a number of complaints with it. But other than that, Marine the Raccoon, I mean Marine the Raccoon. I see I'm calling her Marine the Raccoon because she should have been Marine. Okay, okay, enough about Marine the Raccoon. Sticks the Badger, leave in the comments what you think about the character. Sonic Boom, I'm looking forward to the game anyways. I'm looking forward to the show. And Sega, please listen to me. STOP MAKING NEW CHARACTERS! And for the love of God, if you put Shadow the Hedgehog in that show, I'm gonna... Freak out.